Hey, what's up guys? Case Kiral here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android Oreo Beta 2 on your MI A1 using the FastBit method. So I'm going to show you step by step. Make sure that you watch the video till to the end. Also, this process is a clean install method. That means everything will be gone. Please be make sure that you have to back up all of important information. Alright, first thing first, check the link in the description, go ahead and click on that link. That link will probably gonna take you to this page. So here, you will be able to download the Android Oreo version 2. Simply click on that button, and then in the description box, you're gonna find the XDA thread. A huge thanks to the developer, because without him, this is not possible, because he made a fantastic way to install the Android Oreo Beta 2 using the fastboot method. So go ahead and download the ROM and extract it on your computer. Once it's extracted, so you can see right inside that, you can see all of the contents. You can see the images folder, you can see the fastboot command as well as ADB command, and you can see the a batch script bundled together, all right? So we are done with the computer part, and back to the a cam review on your MI A1, so make sure that you have the sufficient charge, and once everything is ready, go ahead and click on the settings, and then tap on the about phone, and then keep tapping on the bill number until you see you are now a developer. So please make sure that you have to make a complete backup of your device. We will be following the clean install method. So when you are inside the developer options, so go ahead and uh, uh, enable the OEM unlocking as well as the USB debugging. So once you enable these two options, go ahead, take the USB cable and hook up to your phone. When you see this message, simply go ahead and allow the USB debugging. Now back to the uh, computer view. On the extracted folder where you are simply hold shift and then right click and then you can see this message open PowerShell window here if you're running Windows 10 if you're running Windows 7 or 8 you're gonna see the open command window here so you can choose whatever you want to so here when you're inside this you can see all of the contents all right now first what we're gonna do is you can type the command called ADB devices when you type this command it's gonna be show you the a reference number that means the computer and device is communicating properly. Then you can type the command called ADB reboot bootloader. So this will gonna be boot your device into the fast boot mode. Now when your device is in the fast boot mode, type the command called fast boot devices to ensure the device is still communicating with your computer. Now you can simply go ahead and we need to run this a bad file, all right? So, but before that, what we're gonna do is you can type another command called fastboot OEM unlock to unlock the bootloader of your device. It's gonna say the message, okay. Now last but not the least, go ahead and run the batch script. Simply type ROM and then press the tab on your keyboard. It's gonna be autofill and then press the enter on your keyboard. Now this is gonna be a take you to this page. Here you will be able to select the option number two. I strongly recommend go with the number two option. Don't go with the first one. And then simply type the number two and then press the return key on your keyboard. So this is gonna be start flashing your MI A1, the Android Oreo version. So it's gonna be take a couple of minutes, almost five to 20 minutes. And please be make sure do not interrupt anything. So once everything is done, I will be right back with you guys. Alright, so that's it. So as you can see, it's done flashing successfully and your device will gonna be boot up. It's gonna be take an initial but we can take around 10 minutes probably. So once it's done, as you can see, there we go, we can running the Android Oreo. The good thing about the beta 2 is everything is working properly, like fast charging is working properly, there are no network issues, at least for me, and uh, WhatsApp is also working properly. Some users are complaining that they are not able to send pictures, everything is fixed. Seems like the Xiaomi has been polishing the Android Oreo for the public release. So that's it, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, and I will catch you in my next one. This is your host, KSK Ryle, signing off.